Well, the preparation lab here at the Royal Tyrrell Museum is a very busy place. Well, it's busy until I interrupt <laughs> Chris from all the work he was doing. Chris, you're what we call a preparation technician. Yep. So explain to me what that means exactly. Uh, so what that means is my job is to, uh, when we have the specimens here, uh, I'm going to open up the jacket that it's in and work at removing the rock away from the fossil bone okay. to, ex to expose the specimen that we have. Okay, so where did this, so this whole thing is what we call a specimen? Correct, yeah. Okay, and where did that, uh, how did that get to you guys here at the museum? So uh, what we would do is we'd go out in the field and collect it. In this case, uh, we were notified about this specimen and had to go up and, and collect it. It was from Fort McMurray. Okay. So what we do is uh, we'll go up there, we'll collect it, we'll try to do it as, as quickly as possible. We put on this plaster jacket that's going to help hold everything inside the jacket so when we can bring it back to the lab it's safe in transportation okay and then I'll uh, open it up and and work on it from there so it's come from the field and so yeah. this has come from somewhere up in Fort McMurray yep. someone notifies you that they see something that looks like a little bit more than a rock yep you guys go down there how do you know it's basically covered in rock so how do you know where to cut it or how big it actually is until you get in there um, well, going into it, we don't really know. I mean, okay. we sort of wait to see what's exposed when we're up there okay. in the field. And then from there, what we do is we want to try and isolate the specimen. So we're going to explore around, see where bones are going, which way they're going. And that's going to give us a picture of sort of the layout of the body, uh, where things are going, if it's going to be all together or articulated. Okay. So you can see here, these are parts of the vertebrae that are all aligned. Right. So we're going to have the vertebrae going that way and then the ribs coming off the sides here. So knowing that the specimen's gonna be relatively together, we're gonna to know where everything's sort of going from there. If not, then it makes it a bit more difficult when we're in the field, but. This looks like a pretty significant find, is it? Or do you see, do you find these things on a pretty regular basis? Uh, not, not in this case, no. We don't find uh, things like these marine reptiles on a relatively uh, consistent basis. Okay. But I mean, every specimen is one of a kind, so there's unique things about every specimen that we work on. Okay, so how excited would you guys get to find something like this? Oh, we'd get, we'd get very excited. <laughs> We're always excited when we can go out and bring in something new. With this specimen here, I'm doing it in two different ways. Okay. Where there's gonna be a lot of rock, you can see all these big larger marks. Yeah. These were made from just my rock hammer and my awl okay. that I'm using to chip away the rock to uh, remove it a bit more, bit, remove the bigger chunks a bit quicker. Okay. Once I get down to uh, a suitable layer, so pretty much here what you're seeing, yeah. I'm gonna go in with a different tool, uh, this one, which is my air scribe, okay. it's a vibrating tool. Essentially it's like a miniature jackhammer and I'm gonna remove the rock, okay. the rest of the rock with that from the fossil bone. Kind of reminds me of a dentist's drill. It's very similar. Same kind of kind thing? Kind of similar, yeah. Uh, awesome, Chris, this looks so cool. And then is this just a big fan that kind of keeps your workspace clean or is that how um, that works? Or? Yeah, it's uh, when I'm using the air scribe, yeah. a lot of dust is gonna be getting picked up. So right. I'm gonna be wearing a mask and my uh, hearing protection and that. And this is gonna help remove a lot of the dust that gets kicked up from, awesome. from my tool. You have a very cool job, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Chris, thanks for hanging out with us. We're going to let Chris get back to work. We're going to still be with you at the Royal Tyrrell Museum here for the rest of the day, so stay with us. We're back from our Go Calgary after this.